funny story. Yeah? Sometimes I work as a dishwasher at a senior living place. Real fancy one. And uh, they always bring us the empty bottles of wine because we have the bucket that the glass goes in. Sometimes those bottles of wine are not empty. Sometimes they're full. And maybe sometimes I have brought some home. No? Why am I drinking it in an Aladdin mug? Because I'm classy. That's why. Also, it's going to hopefully make it easier to get through this movie. Welcome back to Movie Munchies. I'm Alexis. If you've never been here before, we watch things and we eat them. Today. Oh, that's already warm. <laughs> Let me take another sip. This is going to be fun. We are starting our Disney sequel series. Here's my plan. Here's what I want to do. Ideally, I would like to get through all the Disney sequels. Will that happen? Who knows? I'm not going to watch them back to back, so they're just going to go hand in hand with whatever other movies they belong to, you know what I mean? But I'm going to treat them differently because, as we know, Disney sequels are, are kind of special in that they need to be graded on a curve, so to speak. So what I'm going to do is, I have, I have my notebook to take notes, but I, I don't plan on making a cake for this, nor do I plan on having a munchies and crunchies at the end, but what I will do at the end of this movie is I will grade it on a scale of one to five cupcakes. And at some point in time, I will take the best Disney sequel and I'll make cupcakes for it. Assuming I'm still making videos that far down the line. There you go. Sound good? That's what we're gonna do. So this is the first one. Return of Jafar. Initiate entertainment. This program includes negative depictions and or mistreatment of people or cultures. These stereotypes were wrong then and are wrong now. Rather than remove this content, we want to acknowledge- Oh, didn't read it fast enough. Yes, I have seen this. I told you I was obsessed with Aladdin at one point. Does that mean I'm biased? Yeah, a little bit. I am. But I'll try to be fair <laughs> creating it because- I acknowledge that it is not the best movie in the world. You gotta hand it to those TV budget films. Quality animation, you know? This night has been quite rewarding. It's a bit small in this one. A oh, power! This very much feels like the series. He is! <laughs> As small as I, he's in this movie. I forgot. I couldn't remember for the longest time. What does he do in this movie? Does he? Is he the one helping Jafar? I think he is. Wow. How is it you get the jeweled flower, Abismal? Abismal. <laughs> his name is what's his face in this too? His right hand man. He was always so cool. I can't remember his name. So sad about it. This is very nostalgic, honestly. In a way that's different from the Aladdin film, like the original film. Look at Aladdin. <laughs> oh, is this when they meet? Holy shit, I have forgotten about all of this. Did this movie come before the show? What? Aladdin is one cocky mother man. Look at him running! Did you see that? <laughs> he thinks he's so cool, and he is. <laughs> oh no. Him and these acrobatics. <laughs> this is definitely a made for TV film. Like, it, it, it's more closely a. Oh! I know I was talking. I don't remember what I was saying. I totally forgot. I just watched the movie. I totally forgot that Iago got stuck in a lamp with Jafar. I got sand in places I didn't even know I had. Oh, Gilbert Godfrey. He was so loud. <laughs> but he had a very distinct voice and it was great for things like this. If it was for me, you'd oh, we get a song already. Why do I not 
remember the No, I remember it now that I'm hearing it. I completely forgot about it. I'm looking out for me. <laughs> okay, I think the chronology of the whole Aladdin franchise is the original movie, Return of Jafar, the Aladdin series, and then the King of Thieves. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Because in the King of Thieves, I'm pretty sure he goes off with Aladdin's dad. But he spends the whole series with the gang going on adventures with them and being so obnoxious and greedy as hell and a coward and a half. But you know what? He's fun. Him and Abu make a great <laughs> duo. The little guys. I mean, you could go up to people and just give it to them or rain it down from the sky. Where were you? I missed you. I had to. Uh, pick I don't know. <laughs> be over here acting like <laughs> just the dorkiest. Oh. It must have cost a fortune. Girl, you know he didn't buy that. Steal. Who do you think this is? Don't you know your boy at all? Royal announcement. Look at her with that hair. And he won You've made quite an impression, you know. I don't know, they're a little too touchy feel. <laughs> I was saying they act they act like a dorky ass couple. Diss my boyfriend, that's my girlfriend. Hey. <laughs> that's me. And he is ready for anything. You know, once you get to know him a little bit. You just kind of start rolling your eyes, like, Aladdin, like, please, bro. <laughs> Y'all got too many animals in here. <laughs> you may want to change before dinner, though. <laughs> Her voice goes in and out of annoying in this movie. I do remember that. It's not very consistent. She's very much, uh, she has so much attitude in the first one. I think she lacks that in this movie. Well, my dear Abu, shall we see what the- Look at those cybers! Stop. I'll just get a on my side with a little- Oh! <laughs> That's how he does that. Sleazy ass bird. <laughs> so in, in the original movie, I said Jafar is slimy. Iago is a wet cracker. <laughs> That's Iago. He's a wet cracker. Like a literal, a literal cracker. Oh, stop. You better stop. <laughs> that just be roughhousing all over the f place. Starting fights. I suppose he didn't start it, though. <laughs> he just be getting into trouble left and right. And I got more where I came from! And he was just doing that to be spiteful. Now Aladdin's like, Oh my god, you're a good guy. A blue weight! <laughs> With the right. sausage! <laughs> He was about to- Oh, he was about to pummel him. Don't worry, I'll talk to him. Soften him up. In a birdcage, Aladdin, that's kind of rude, though. I just have to make sure that Jasmine doesn't see you. Still lying. Prepared. Got me prepared for what? Oh, boy. Uh, Is something wrong? Huh? <laughs> wrong? Girl, just look over your shoulder, like, for real. The cage is right there. She used to be secretly laughing at him. Because this dude be tripping over his own feet left and right. I almost lost you once that way. I'll never make that mistake again. And yet you still lying. Still. Didn't you learn? Aw, oh, genie. But he's not Robin Williams in this one. It's okay, I got used to it. But Agrabah has something that no Get ready for another song. Has. I forgot about this one too, to be honest. It's easy when you chase by Get a piece! I don't know what the song is. <laughs> Changing keys all over the place. Yeah, I don't get all kinds of motion sickness from having Genie as a friend. Oh. No. A side character. That's what I was trying to think. She feels very, very much like a side character in this movie, and I don't like it. I know she's there, but she does all the things that a side character does, and kind of her lines are all like throw away, you know? It's disappointing. <laughs> like Whiplash, Genie is so much. You have to guard Iago. But could you not just walk up in there and be like, yo, Iago crossed my path today, 
and he saved my life. Should we give him a second chance? And they'd be like, nah. He'd be like, sorry, bro. Kick him out the palace. And then I guess we wouldn't have a story. And Iago wouldn't decide that he's got some morals and is good somewhere deep, deep down. Ah, uh, yeah. That is how it goes, isn't it? He ain't been in there long enough. He was supposed to be in there for a thousand years. They changed his costume, and I don't really like it. You are astonishingly perceptive. Astonishingly perceptive. He is the spokesperson for all Disney villains, just because he's so eloquent. <laughs> <laughs> Chortle. <laughs> that Stop smiling like that. <laughs> my new royal vision. Oh Jesus. Is he fit for that? <laughs> Sultan wanna crack us? Sultan wanna crack us? Remember that? I was about to say he didn't spend much time with Iago, but he did. They were there in that throne room with them forever. How long did it take Aladdin to get back there from that snow top mountain or wherever he was sent? Oh. Oh, monkey. <laughs> Woo! Come on, monkey. Have nice banana. <laughs> Birdie gets monkey a pretty banana. If I was a boo, I'd be mad too. <laughs> a boo. <laughs> a boo is the youngest child who is smarter than most of the characters. And just be. He's spoiled. He's adorable. He can do whatever the hell he wants. I'll be just fine with it. <laughs> Yeah, they got too many animals <laughs> running around this place. And they all <laughs> unsupervised. He had better. Your Highness, I, I think Iago was uh You don't have to do all that. Just tell them the f***ing truth, Jesus. Then I'll watch him. Nani? Your Highness, I meant uh with your That was aggressive, I'd sir. Like to take full responsibility for you. Don't do that. How could you? More secrets, more lies. Don't be dramatic. Aladdin. All these movements are so like over exaggerated. She was like, I thought you had changed. <laughs> Everybody's mad at me. Hey. It's because you're a little bit dumb, bruh. Because you don't know how to just walk up to people and be like, look, this is what happened. This is the truth. <laughs> oh my god. What are you trying to do? Give me a heart attack? I think he is. Uh -huh. We have to get Elle and the princess, princess back, back together. They're not apart, they just had a spat. Damn, they're both moping around. Why is you crying? It is honestly not that big of a deal. Forget about that guy. Oh my god. Forget about the way you fell into his eyes. Forget about his charm. No, please stop. <laughs> um, Jasmine and Aladdin act like a stereotypical heterosexual couple in this movie. They weren't like that in the first one. Or were they? The way it felt, this is just so... In the first one, it was all so subtle and natural. This one is over the top. She's acting like such a girl. A meal becomes a banquet <laughs> when you eat alone. Love's meal becomes... That is my favorite part of this whole it's so stupid. <laughs> it's awful. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept you. Can y'all please stop? It cannot be that easy to get over the palace wall. It can't. Otherwise, all kinds of folk would be ended up in there. Advisor to Aladdin, the new grand. He is a parrot with teeth. And when Aladdin becomes Sultan, that will make. Now let's get that ball out of his beak. What do you say? <laughs> well, <laughs> body slamming. <laughs> Bobo. Bobo. Who be sitting around like that? That's a good idea. And I'll bring Genie. He was a big hit with the self. No, Genie's too much. Also, you ain't even supposed to be now. Sorry, this is part of the evil plan. <laughs> you need some quiet time with Father. Let him get to know you. Yeah. Let him intimidate you. <laughs> the Sultan doesn't jingle in this movie. It loses point. It loses a significant amount of points for that. And Aladdin 
is dating the Princess of Agrabah now, but he'd still be walking around barefoot with his chest out. <laughs> More food for us! That is a Shaggy and Scooby moment if I ever saw one. I suppose they're each other's fiance. I've been looking at them like boyfriend, girlfriend, but that's how they be acting though. Genie versus Genie fight. Why is Genie's name Genie? Has he always been a Genie? Is he the OG Genie? I don't know what that is. Go ahead and zap me with the big surprise. Slap me in a trap. Cut me down to size. I'll make a great escape. It's just a piece of cake. You're on the second rate. Oh, they straight up steal the Sultan. I forgot. I'll push her there. You traitor. Traitor is such a strong word. Yeah, you ain't got time to be chastising the bird. Why are you riding the carpet like that? Stop. Abyss Mall knows magic? <laughs> No, he's drowning. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> he definitely went past that rock. Oh, okay, I forgot. I was like, I'm pretty sure Genie, I mean, Jafar doesn't want him dead. He sure would have bit the, the bullet, bit the dust. What's the phrase? <laughs> he would have bit the dust. If you remember the plan, it is not yet time for the boy to meet his end. When a villain gets fixated on a hero, it's very much a Peter Pan hook situation. It's just your whole life you're just chasing after this one person trying to get back at them. Miserable existence. How long you been there knocked out? Sultan. The Sultan doesn't have a name. I just realized that. Holy shit. This Poor carpet. Carpet's the middle child. He's so important. He always gets forgotten about. Poor baby. I keep calling him him. They. <laughs> hey, that was a nice hat. I could have won. Oh yeah, and then they blame Aladdin for killing the Sultan. Ooh, I hope she don't quit on me. I forgot to plug in the camera. <laughs> Ooh, he had been walking a while, ain't he? And then you went over the waterfall, eh? Razzle been looking for an excuse to whip his ass. <laughs> he shall die at dawn. Jesus Christ. All right. Ew. <laughs> that was not a fun transition. That was not a fun transition. That was a very cursed. <laughs> Girl, please have more attitude than that. Don't turn into a damsel in distress. That's not how, that's not you. Trade me and allied yourself with my enemies. And you turned on them as soon as it was in your best interest. I swear, this man loves his job way too much. I'm so Ew. <laughs> mm -mm. That does not work. <laughs> Save your chump boyfriend! Ah! They do call themselves boyfriend and girlfriend. And they is straight fiancés though. Because they said they was gonna get married in the first movie. They pretended like they did. In that last shot. <laughs> Razul! What the f***, bruh? <laughs> That's not how that works. Ooh. These still be quick. <laughs> you have to lift it higher! You have to lift it higher! Good to see you too. They got they got tired of animating this <laughs> towards the end of the movie. We have a responsibility. Maybe you do, but I don't. I'm only responsible. <laughs> Iago, the first one to run away. I understand, Iago. You've done enough. And thanks. Oh, now he's gonna be like <laughs> guilty conscience. At least we know he has one. I mean, it's filling up the throne room with something. Ain't nothing in that room, except for that chair. Ooh, feeling a little tipsy. But, but you said Janie's can't kill. You said that. You'd be surprised what you can You'd live through. You'd be surprised through. what you can live through. But oh, a boo. 
You made yourself too obvious. You're supposed to be a pro. <laughs> Barked them out of the sky. Give it up, Jafar. We're obviously too much for you. Where'd his pants go? He looks weird with just his hair. Oh, it, cause it's genie. That's right. I forgot. Go out. Oh, he's still hitting over here without his fans. Did it fly off? Oh no! Carpet no! Ouch! I know Carpet's not a human being, but damn, that's got to be that's um, technically they is dead. The chaos. Where did the Sultan go? He sure did. He was sneaking around the palace with them trying to get the land, but now he's suddenly gone. Iago. Traitor! Traitor! <laughs> oh no! Isn't it a <laughs> The way he says is the name. This man is obsessed with him. She is spazzing out. Lord. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> Take him so long to combust. Ooh, 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 I forgot he was down there. Bro, you cut it way too close. You almost got squashed. There you go. You all right? You all right, Carpet? Yeah. Oh. No. Iago. Iago's the one who's hurt. Uh, he smells like ash. I thought a genie couldn't kill him. He can't. Iago's fine. My palms are sweating. I am a little bit drunk. Just a little. They got tired. They got tired of animating this movie at the end. Okay, that's it! The madness is spreading! Why do I keep getting- He's been barking this whole movie, growling. Shouldn't somebody ask what the brave parrot wants to Iago, do? do whatever the hell you want. Oh, it's over, thank god. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't- <laughs> It wasn't like it was a struggle to get through. It's just... <laughs> it's just that, listen, it wasn't a good movie, okay? <laughs> it wasn't a good movie. I had fun, though. I had fun rewatching that, and it was very nostalgic. It brought me back to, um, I'm drunk. <laughs> Brought me back to those days when I had a netbook and I would watch the Aladdin series <laughs> on my netbook. Yes, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. Those were fun times. They were. It's. Uh, it was entertaining. It was entertaining. I'm biased, so I love Aladdin and its characters. I used to think that the story saved this movie. I don't know if it really does. The story. What's the story? The story is that Iago gets out of the lamp, ends up crossing paths with Aladdin, and switching to the good side. And Jafar manages to get a croony and sets up this elaborate plan to get rid of Aladdin because he's obsessed with him now. The main thing is the, the moral tug of war that Iago has going on. I mean, it's fine. As stories go, it's not super complicated. It's fine. It was fine. It was fine. It was fine as a movie. The animation was god awful. Super flat. The songs were nothing to uh, gawk at. What was Jafar's song? Second rate. That was my favorite song, but even still, that's not a great. That was the not a masterpiece, you know what I'm saying? I give that a solid two out of five cupcakes. Going into it, I thought I was going to give it like at least a two and a half, but <laughs> even though it was fun to watch again, it wasn't as good as I remember. I don't think I ever, ever remember it being that great, honestly, but two cupcakes. Congratulations, Return of Jafar. You did the best that you could. <laughs> I'm going to cut this off right here. 
we're gonna watch King of Thieves next and I am so excited for that one. So make sure you subscribe, click the bell so that you can get notifications, leave a comment. Did you like this movie? Have you seen this movie? And also, I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna ask you a very specific question. What's that question gonna be? You know, they have a lot of uh, animals in this movie. You got a parrot, a monkey, and a tiger running around. If you could have any exotic animal as a pet, what would it be? There you go. Leave it in the comments down there. Anyways, thanks for watching this with me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.